FA Cup and a top four finish again. If Jose Mourinho take your hand off to get Man United into the top four. So if he does that and all the money that comes with it, is that success? Is that enough for him to stay on? Well, I think that the, the mindset, mindset will change and I think it has to change because I think what happens now, even though they got beat in the last 16 for the last five or six years, um, they lost two games, 3-1, and they, they came back and, against Monaco and they kept it respectable in the, in the second leg and, and still had a, an outside chance mm -hmm. of 10 minutes to go, to go through. They've not had a hiding like this. And as Eamon said, I think it's the manner of the mm -hmm. defeat, the way they did get beat, because it could have been in the end, it could have been 7-8, and eight, uh, which probably would have been the right result, judging in the second half. And I think the mindset has to change because I think that the, the fans moving forward now, I think the fans will demand a team. It's, the Champions League is a very ha a hard competition to win. We know that you need a bit of luck, you need a big squad, you need the luck at the right average ahead in the first half. When you do get the luck, when you do get the breaks, you've got to take advantage. They failed to do that and the fans will demand a team moving forward where they have belief in, who they can trust, where they know if we do go to a FA Cup semi-final, if we do go to a last 16 in the future, we don't waste our money traveling over to Munich and watching a yeah. team folding as they did. So I think the mindset has to change, whether it's with the manager or not, I'm not too sure. I think it would be the right time to go because if he doesn't want to lose even more credit than he already lost, um, I think that the time will be at the, at the end of the season to change. And, and the, the problem they've got now, if you look at a team now, you look at a team sheet, the 18 players, which players will give you the next FA Cup win, will give you the next Rodolf finish, maybe even the next Premier League. If I look at that 18, squad of 18, you know, I struggle to find three. Just three? Well, yeah, you know, we, we talk about the two players who everybody talked about, Sanchez and Ozil, many yeah. weeks ago. Ozil, I don't think he's got a leg to stand on to demand the money he does demand. Because he does it for three months, it's no good doing it for three months. If you don't do it for ten months, it's no good to anyone. Because if you top of the league in October, you can't pay yourself anything. It doesn't win you anything. Um, over the course of the season at Arsenal, he hasn't done it. He showed in glimpses. We showed clips before. Some of the most wonderful goals we, we ever see. Nobody else probably can score. But you watch him tonight. It's probably a bit harsh having a go at him tonight because you can have a go at, at all the players. So tonight well, wasn't his fault. Um, Sanchez, I don't think he wants to say that. He wants to win trophies. He's a winner. Kuchelny is a one player. You can rely on at the back. He's had his injury problems. All the others, you know, Shaka, I've always been a, an admirer to a certain extent, non-existent. Coughlin is a squad player. Mm -hmm. You look at Iwobi, you look at Oxley chamberlain they're, all, they're squad players. They're not players. When you, when you need a result, when you go to a place like Munich, you need 11 players, 11 warriors. You know, you, you, you trust them and you know they run your heart, their heart out and they, you know they do everything in their power to get a result. Warriors. You said the word warriors and that has been a criticism of Arsenal over the last while about